Thank God for the Hollywood elite. Thank God for out of touch celebrities giving their opinions on anything. You know, when this uh, Ukraine invasion started to happen, my first thought was, what does former 90210 star Annalyn McCord have to say about this? What is she thinking? That's how I'm gonna formulate my opinions based upon what the Hollywood elite are saying. Before we get into today's video, I wanna give a little disclaimer. The only person that I'm making fun of in this situation is Annalyn McCord. I don't want it misinterpreted, willfully, like disingenuously misinterpreted. I will always take any opportunity to dunk on people who are a bit detached from reality and that's what this video is. It's not commentary about the ongoing crisis. In fact, I'm going to link in my description box below. I found this mega thread on Reddit full of resources and charities that if you want to, you could look at, share or support for the civilians and citizens of Ukraine who are being affected by what's going on at the moment. This isn't really about that though. This is about <laughs> us being saved from a possible world war by Anne Lynn McCord. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the former 90210 star did a slam poetry. Is it called, is it called slam dunk poetry? Did I just make that up? Slam dunk poetry about Vladimir Putin. And the theme of the poem is how if she were Putin's mother, none of this would have happened. Yes, yes, Putin is going to war and invading Ukraine because his mother failed him. I don't know how it happens, but somehow we managed to blame women for absolutely everything. I, I downloaded this video just in case she took it off of Twitter, but it's still, it, it's incredible, it's still up on Twitter. It's, in it's incredible. She must really not be looking at any of her mentions. Strap in, strap on. This is some pretty bad cringe. Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. If I was your mother, you would have been so loved, held in the arms of joyous light. How is it that a Hollywood celeb can see a situation and think, how can I make this about me? It's like that Family Guy clip where it's Julia Roberts talking about poverty and then being like, me. Hi, I'm Julia Roberts. You know, a lot of people died in the tsunami, but don't worry, I didn't. <sighs> Me. How do you look at a situation and go, hmm, you've all heard of World War Three, but now get ready for World War Me. Never would the story's plight, the world unfurled. I'm impressed, the world unfurled. This is, I don't know much about poetry, but I think Gabby Han has got some competition before our eyes a pure demise of nations sitting peaceful under a night sky if i was your mother the world would have been warm main character syndrome if i had made a time machine gone back in time had sex with putin's father been his mother given birth to putin none of this would have happened i could have saved the world this is on par with creating a time machine to go back in time to kill any dictator <laughs> Should I use the words kill? I don't know. Stop any dictator. <laughs> like, okay, that, that's a nice story. It's nice that you're thinking that, but the actual reality is happening right now. So, um... So much laughter and joy and nothing would harm. I can't imagine the stain, the soul-stealing pain that the little boy you... The little boy... That... <laughs> I love this. I love when celebrities are just so out of touch. Do you remember when the pandemic hit and certain celebrities were in their mansions crying about how, crying about how we're all in this together, not in the same like economic circumstances, all of us, although are we? You know, you remember when the celebrities all, all did that, um, they, they sung Imagine, didn't they, by John Lennon? What I love about this is that little boy, she's infantilizing Vladimir Putin, a man who was in the KGB, a man who, like, I can imagine, I'm not saying he did or didn't, but I can imagine he's endgamed people with his bare hands. She's infantilizing him and imagining him as a little boy. Yes, we were all little children at, at some point, but the guy is like 70. He is a whole boomer. 
Why are you infantilizing an entire boomer? It's so, it, the thought process that went into this is incredible. You must have seen and believed and the formulation of thought quickly taught that you lived in a cruel, unjust world. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that a modern day elite Hollywood actress such as Anna Lynn um, wouldn't have survived. Like if you got that time machine, the theoretical time machine to go back and bang Putin's dad, I'm gonna get put on some kind of hit list now for saying this stuff. Worth it. Say you don't do that and you just placed her in USSR era Russia. This Anna Lynn McCord won't last two seconds. Are you really telling me that you think you had the capability to go be his mother and make things better? You would not have survived a day in those times. What are you talking, like, I don't know anything about Putin's mother, but that must've been a difficult time to bring up a child in, surely. Is this why? You now decide no one will get the best of you. <laughs> She's going full armchair psychologist. She is in the mind of Putin. She, she knows what's bugging him and that's that no one has given him a hug in a while. And you know, if we just um, all hugged each other and held hands and baked a cake full of rainbows and smiles, we'd all be happy. Is this why you do not hide nor away shy from taking back the world? Imagine him seeing this and crying and being like, do you know what guys, I take it back. I'm sorry, I'm going back to Moscow. She really thought she did something. She really thought that she did something. It's incredible. Was it because so early in life, all that strife wrapped your little body with fear? She's really giving a performance. This is a uh, Oscar worthy, isn't it? And people on Twitter are being like, why are you putting your audition tape on Twitter? If I was your mother, if the- Right. This isn't the slam dunk that she thinks it is. Yeah. Because it's, it's not even her slamming him. It's her slamming his mother and his mother's uh, parenting techniques. So you're not even slagging off Putin properly. What? The world was cold. I'd have died to make you warm. I don't really believe her. It's one thing to say it, it's another thing to do it. If anyone comes at me being like, look, this is art and she's just expressing her art. Okay, could you have at least waited a month or so? Not right now, a bit tone deaf, in it. I'd have died to protect you from the unjust, the violence, the terror, the uncertainty. I would have died to give you life. Would you have? Really? Again, just like not to be insensitive, but I wouldn't um, die to give Putin or, or, or most people really. I value my own existence above other people. Um, what? Oh dear, Mr. President Putin. Sounds like she's gonna break out in a happy birthday, Mr. President Marilyn Monroe, JF Kennedy, isn't she? Isn't if only I'd been your mother. Perhaps the torture of unwritten youth would not within your heart imbue a script in to such field. Perhaps the torture of unwritten youth would not within your heart imbue a script in to such. Why is this like a boss battle screen from Final Fantasy? Why is this like a little quest in The Witcher 3 where you have to look up some ancient tome to work out how to beat the graveyard hag or whatever? Like, what is this? <laughs> this is poetry and art. It goes over my head, clearly. Against that world that you thought was so cruel. Perhaps you would hold dear human life and on this night, instead of Mother Russia, you would call me. She's really getting into this. It's, um, instead of Mother Russia, you would call me. I guarantee if Putin somehow rang Anna Lynn's mobile right now to have a chat with her, she'd freak out and not answer it. And I would set your mind quite free with all right, Morpheus. The love that only a mother can give. Why are we, why is, she, why is she blaming the mother so much? What about the father? Why has she not said anything about his parenting techniques, huh? Bloody women always dragging other women down. And only a mother can take away. Did she just really hit Putin with a, I brought you into this world. I can take you out of it. This is bizarre, isn't it? This is just strange behavior, right? I mean, I know that pretty much everyone on the internet is like, what about this? But I really need my um, 24 million views. God, well, here's that attention you ordered. When holds, she doesn't harm at bay and leaves her boy for the promise of a man, whatever you- How is she fully blaming the mother? How is she blaming women? For the my voice is going so high, the dogs in the neighborhood are going 
us up barking. What? And Lynn McCord, if I was your mother, I'd have told you to delete this. Your story, Mr. President Putin, I can't imagine how it feels in your heart, but I know if I was your mother, that would be a start towards the awareness of what a powerful being of light you could be if your mind was only free. Why is she gassing him up? You could be great. <gasps> what is the? It's like the sorted Harry Harry Potter. <laughs> you could be great, you know. It's all here in your head. But hmm, Gryffindor, Slytherin. That's it. Slivering, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know? Blah, 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 blah. It's like Ollivander being like, oh, Voldemort, he did terrible things. Terrible, yes, but great. What are you chatting? Why are you gassing up this bloke? For starters, like, forget all the other stuff, yeah? Why are you gassing up a bloke, first and foremost? Secondly, I have all the blokes in the world, probably about three billion of them. Uh, Putin? Interesting choice. Let's see how it plays out for her. From the violence you've seen when you were just two or three. There's always explanations for people's behaviour and you can look at their childhood to see what happened, like how they get on this path, etc, etc. Like cause and effect, that type of thing, right? So I talk about it sometimes. But I wouldn't go as far as um, sympathising with a man who is 69 years old, who has just ordered the invasion of a neighbouring country. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go that far. I'd maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe cut it off, you know? Because I think by the ripe old age of 69, he'd probably know better. Honestly, swap out Putin from this and put in like your favorite dictator. <coughs> what a bad term. Swap out Putin from this and put in another dictator, one of your choice, choose your own adventure. Um, imagine her doing this about Kim Jong-un. Do, do you know what I mean? I cannot believe I was born too late in a different place. <laughs> yes, this is all my fault. I was born too late to bang senior. I'm getting worried about me doing this video now. Um, no one will be taken out. But yeah, basically this whole situation is all her fault. Okay. How is she blaming herself? Why do women blame other women and then also blame themselves? What is going on? When I would have loved you so. What if he was like a really annoying child though? Would you, would you have? Like what if he was one of those children that went around kicking cats? Would you have loved him so? What if he was one of those kids that was always like, why, why, what, 24 seven? Would you have loved him so? I don't, I'm not buying this, Annalyn McCord. I don't really believe you watched you play wherever you go. Why did it cut off? Wow, she really cares that much about the entire situation that she didn't even bother to finish her poem before uploading this video to the internet where it's gonna live forever. Someone said on Twitter, she binged watched every Karen video before declaring, hold my kombucha. <laughs> a true white woman masterpiece. Oh, people's parents can play a big role in what kind of person they turn out to be. Yes, I understand that entirely. Why are we just having a go at the, not we, why is she just having a go at his mother though? I know it's fun for some of you to rip people apart online, but just celebrities who can handle it. But some levity. Historically, many people around the world expressed their solidarity during wartime poetry, music performance. Yeah, but could have waited a few weeks before um, coming out of this. Capitalising kind of on a situation, right? The arts consoling medicine for the soul. This is this is not the cure. This is not medicine. This is the poison. This is not console. Who is this consoling? Genuinely. Did this console you? Let me know in the comments below. As obvious as it may seem, she's trying to address how broken and desynthesized, desensitized maybe? Putin has allowed himself to become. Well, she's not going on about that. She's blaming the mum. Plus right now, it's just not very helpful, is it? Beverly Hills 90210. Thank you, Hollywood celebrities. Thank you for saving us from ourselves and fixing all of the world's problems. That's all from today's video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to check out the link that I'm going to put in the description box below if you fancy. And then I'll see you guys next time. Bye.